How long is a day on the sun? You know what's cool about Earth when you really stop to think about it? Our day and night cycle. That's right. Just because our planet rotates the way it does on its axis means we have all these hours of wonderful daylight and all these hours of calming nighttime. It's pretty great. Not to mention sunsets and sunrises and how pretty they can be. And the spookiness of nighttime and thinking something might jump out of the shadows to get you. But here's a question for you, Mr. Banana. How long is a day on the sun? Yeah, that question kind of broke your mind a little, right? Well, let's explore this idea some. Okay, so we experience day on Earth by the time our side of the planet is facing the sun, bathing us with its warm, lovely, but ultimately deadly rays. Oh, son, why you play us like that? We just want to love you without you burning our skin or giving us cancer. So, okay, that's day on Earth. But, but the sun, our sun, doesn't have its own sun, if that makes sense. It's the center of our solar system, which means while everything literally rotates around it, facing it and or not facing it, the sun is facing the darkness of space? How can there be day on the sun when it doesn't have its own sun to shine light on it? Does that mean it's always night on the sun? B but it's a giant gas fireball! How could it always be night when it's kind of pretty much on fire 24-7? 24-7 being Earth time, of course, but you get the reference. And on top of all that, it actually gets even more complicated. Say it ain't so. Seriously, though, think about it. We can't say this is daytime on Earth because Earth is literally just a pretty big rock in orbit around the sun. The continents stay in the same spot. Nothing really changes. Well, that's not true. Obviously, things are constantly changing on our planet's surface, but it's slowly and gradually, over thousands and millions of years. That's a blink of an eye in solar and space terms, though. The sun, though? Oh, the sun is not a rock in the sky. No. It is actually a bunch of gaseous plasma, which means it does not stay in place. Nope, that plasma is rotating all around the sun, wherever it wants. It moves at different speeds and goes to different parts of the surface. So it's hard to say it's daytime here on the sun when that here could be on the other side of the sun in an hour or something. The here is constantly moving. But okay, let's just get down to the nitty gritty science of it. Let's forget daylight and concentrate on a day as a figure of speech, meaning a full rotation of the sun on its axis. That is what it means anyway. The day on Earth is 24 hours, right? That's how long it takes us to do one full twirl on our axis. Nice. So how about the sun? How long does it take? Well, it's complicated because of course it is. Remember how we mentioned the plasma just swirling all over the surface of the sun? Some of it here, some of it there. Well, this means that the equator on the sun, you know, that middle belt that wraps around her, spins much faster than the poles of the sun. So, if you were to stand on the sun's equator, you would be dead. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. No, 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 but seriously, if you could stand on the equator of the sun without dying, it would take you and that spot on the equator 24.5 Earth days to make a full rotation. Yes, an answer to the question. But... If you were standing on one of the sun's poles, it would actually take 34 Earth days to make a full rotation. Science! But wait, there's more! The sun is kind of like an onion. An onion made out of plasma. It's also on fire. Spicy! But what that means is the outside plasma layers move separately from the inner core layers. So that plasma is moving faster on the middle equator, slower on the tops and bottom poles, and also at a different speed than the core that's inside the sun. The inside of the sun is rotating at an even slower rate than the poles. So if you somehow manage to work your way into the core of the sun, it would take you 22.14 Earth years to make a full rotation. That's a pretty huge difference. So that, Mr. Banana and friends, is the long and short answer to how long a day on the sun is. It really does depend on a lot of different factors. But if anyone asks you this question, you can now tell them the truth. That it's complicated and weird, like many other things in space. If you love learning about the length of a day on the sun, don't forget to click like and to subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you'd like to know about the sun. 